very good morning to, to all of you. How was your weekend? I want to start today's uh, Daily Dose, which, and today's Monday, it's Motivational Monday. So last week, I introduced the four crucial characteristics of a leader. Compelling desire, solid belief, effective action, and iron will. And, you know, they match very closely to New Skin Success Formula. New Skin Success Formula, you go to every convention, they will, they will cover these uh, five topics. Dream, set goals, belief, take action, and lead. And they match very closely. So compelling desire I, is about dream and setting goals. Okay. So today, I want to elaborate a bit about compelling desire. Compelling desire is, is your why. What do you want? What is it that keeps you awake at night and it's the first thing you think about when you get up? What compels you to take action every time and everywhere? And for those of you who are already successful and comfortable and think it's time to take things easy, compelling desires, what is it that scares you? Okay, what is it that scares you that will uh, make you go back and, and, and learn again and gather people around you and do something about it? Okay. Now, I've always been a contented guy. I can take hardship, so never had any dreams. I did just enough to survive. And you know, that was enough to keep me busy, just, just surviving. But that's dangerous because if I've got nothing to live for, sorry, that's dangerous because if I've got nothing to die for, then I've got nothing to live for. And that makes life meaningless and unfulfilling. It's like being a vegetable, which is almost as bad as being a vegetarian. I didn't have a why when I joined New Skin. I was doing very well in my, <clears throat> in my career as a financial planner. It was more why not. So now, after nearly 20 years in New Skin, it's even more crucial for me to have a clearly compelling desire and not slack off into the sunset. Today's daily dose is actually for me. So why have a why? Why is compelling desire the first crucial characteristic of a leader? I came up with my three big reasons why a, comp a truly compelling desire or why is important. And I have it in the mnemonic socks. Number one, okay, S, okay, to know the steps to take. It's your how. Stephen Covey said, begin with the end in mind. If I know the why, it will help me determine the how. Okay, if I know where I want to go, then I know whether I go by, I walk or I take a bicycle or I drive or I, I fly. For example, if I want to build a six-story house, then I need to pay careful attention to the foundations so it can support a big house. If I want to build a six-level deep MLM organization, then I need to pay attention to me, my personal leadership development because everything starts from me. If I want a global business, then I need to go online in order to go global. John Maxwell said, clarity of vision creates clarity of priorities. When I'm clear about my why, I know what I need to do, the steps I need to take, in which order, which is more important. The second big reason is to overcome obstacles. If you have a big dream, there will be obstacles you can't overcome by yourself or not easily. It's to keep you going and growing through failure. Failure is just on the road to success. So a big why keeps me going on and not quitting, especially at the start, when my how skills are poor, when I'm no good, that's when I really I will think of quitting. Okay, But a big why will keep me going. The second <coughs> way to overcome obstacles is to get help and to harness the law of attraction. The novelist Paulo Coelho said, when a person really desires something, all the universe conspires to help that person to realize his dream. 
Okay, that's the law of attraction in, in many, in different forms. Okay, I'll say again, uh, when a person really desires something, all the universe conspires to help that person realize his dream. So the first uh, big reason is, you know, the steps to take the how. Second is to overcome obstacles. The third uh, big reason for having a compelling desire is so that you do extra, you maximize your potential, so that you become the biggest contribution. And again, for those uh, who are comfortable, it's so that you dream big so you can help others. And that's why I think the New Skin Success Formula, when it says dream, puts another dimension to just a why. Okay, this dream is something, something big, okay. It's about possibilities. When you dream, it's about possibilities. Napoleon Hill said, whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. That's why the mind is so important in Napoleon Hill. Whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. He also said, cherish your visions and your dreams as they are the children of your soul, the blueprints of your ultimate achievements. Okay, not just surviving, but ultimate achievement. How do you know what you can achieve 10 years from now, 20 years from now, when you're 90 years old, when you're 100 years old, you know, if you are comfortable and you decide at 60 or 70, that's it for you. Okay, cherish your visions and your dreams as they are the children of your soul, the blueprints of your ultimate achievements. So we're talking about what you are doing at the end of your life, not just before retirement, which is just half your life. Now, my own compelling desire is to build a community of committed, caring, and courageous leaders so that we can keep doing great things, things that I can't even imagine now for people. And my dream is to give away 95% of what I earn. I'm far away from that. Okay, okay now I want to end as I, I always do with, uh, uh, with something I'm going to read. And I'm going to read from this book, Teach Your Team to Fish by Laurie Beth Jones. And he's talking... Uh, she's talking of, on uh, the title of, of her work, which is She Turned Work Into Cause. He Turned Work Into Cause. Okay. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. And then he put his arms around them and he began to show them the big picture one day at a time. You know, in SMS lesson five, we talk about the big picture. Study after study now confirms that people function better in their specific tasks when they know the big picture of which they are part of. One of the main reasons people underperform in their jobs is that they don't know why they are doing them in the first place. To understand why this knowledge is so important, consider an example from the human body. Science continues to reveal the higher intelligence at work in our bodies. For example, red blood cells do the same thing in the body forever, but they never tire of their work. The red blood cell's job is to take oxygen to other cells in the body and exchange it for carbon dioxide. In this non-stop activity, the red blood cell is not depleted, but in fact nourished by its job. Scientists now know that the red blood cell contains within it the complete DNA for the entire body. It carries a map of the whole body and its structure, even as it continues to carry out a single specific, highly specialized task. Some scientists theorize that perhaps the red blood cell knows the function of the whole it can be content in its micro task and perform it without exhaustion. In fact, every cell in the body contains the DNA code or map of the whole. Could it be that God already knew what management theorists are now just discovering? That even the least part of the body performs best when it knows the map of the whole. If you have ever had the privilege of encountering an enthusiastic janitor or a humming cook, or singing maid, you have probably met the equivalent of a red blood cell that does not tire of its task because it knows its energy exchange is vital to the organization as a whole. 
The number three reason people now stay in their jobs, again, according to John Itzel, is that the mission of the organization engages and excites them. People also leave their jobs because the mission of the organization doesn't excite or engage them. Perhaps we move into a society that is literally linked by the dynamic exchange of intelligence. We experience a greater need to know the macro plans of our organization so we can be fully engaged in our micro tasks. This represents a huge shift from the isolated feudalism or smokestack industrialism that preceded us. Leaders who believe that they can threaten red blood cells into doing their jobs are asking for trouble up ahead. The famous basketball coach, Pat Riley, says, you don't have to yell at someone who wants the same thing as you do. Team builders inspire people to look up. Jesus did this with Simon Peter and his brother Andrew, as well as with all his other disciples and followers. By revealing the bigger picture, he turned work into cause. And, you know, when I look, think of our new skin mission statement, which most, most of you, all of you know, you know, our mission is to be a force for good throughout the world by empowering people to improve lives with rewarding business opportunities, innovative products, and an enriching, uplifting culture. You know, it resonates with so many of us, it resonates with me. Okay, and that is, gives me a reason to, to want to do this, to get excited. But, you know, that's the company's why. What is your why? Um, go and think about it. Okay. It should keep you awake. Night make you be, be the first thing that wakes up, makes you wake up in the morning. You know, I think of uh, Jackie. Every Saturday, she gets up early in the morning, before six. You know, we are we're, we're sleeping after the week, and she's out there in the market uh, with uh, with uh, with our, our helper Emily. And she's just so cheerful about it that she goes and do it. And I know her why. It's for the family. You know, um, she does it for the family and never fail. It just amazes me all the time. And in our business, when we have a big why, we'll go there and really make a difference. So I'll see you next week, okay, when we talk about the second crucial characteristic, solid belief. Bye, everyone. Have a great day and have a great start for the week.